Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Adi's Experiments. So, imagine you are in the middle of a really important phone call. No, really, the one that your happiness and future depends on it. So, in all of your excitement and happiness, you enter an elevator and boom, no more service. Why does this happen? Why do phones not work in elevators? People have been to space. They have invented antibiotics. You can chat with your friends with the help of your watch. But once the elevator doors close, all of our phones just quit. That, but the worst thing about it is that there is nothing we can do. So, look at the phone in your hand. Most likely, you don't remember how you used to survive without this gadget. But what magic makes it work? To put it simply, your cell phone is something like a two-way radio. Inside it has a radio receiver and a radio transmitter. Now imagine you are having an important talk with a friend. While you are updating them on the most recent developments of your life, your clever gadget is busy, converting your voice into a series of electrical signals. Then your phone uses its radio transmitter to send these signals using radio waves to the closest cell tower. After that, the process repeats but in the opposite direction. Cell towers, the cell towers begin to send radio waves from one to another to another until finally your coded voice reaches your friend's phone. Finally, their gadget converts the received radio waves first into electrical signals and then to your voice. But Let's get back to that pesky elevator and the way it can wreck even the best conversation. Come to think of it, this phenomenon has a perfectly logical explanation. I don't want to scare you or anything, but an elevator is a compact box made of thick sheets of metal and stuffed with electronics. This box moves inside a narrow concrete shaft through the building's multiple floors made of bricks or stone blocks. In most cases, radio waves can easily penetrate all kinds of materials, but massive chunks of solid stuff such as rock or metal can indeed stop them. For example, if you've ever driven in a mountainous region, you might have noticed that your phone signal vanished and simply reappeared again. This mystery has a simple explanation. If there is a cliff or a mountain between your phone and the nearest cell tower, it will easily prevent radio waves from getting to you and it may sound like this. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable or out of the coverage area. Boy, I sure do hate hearing that. Something similar takes place when you are in an elevator. Radio waves from your friend's phone are desperately trying to reach your cell phone, but they meet a barrier they simply cannot penetrate. Let's see. A metal box that doesn't let radio signals in or out, an elevator shaft built inside a narrow concrete space and reinforced by steel, numerous floors and walls of the building surrounding it. It means that there are several layers of solid materials between your phone and perfect reception. That's why those poor radio waves are physically unable to reach your gadget during an elevator ride. Well guys, there you have it. This is why cell phones simply quit when you enter an elevator and start going up or down. Now I have a question for you guys. Do you know what a capsule elevator is? Go ahead and google it right now and come back. If you do, here's a question for you. Will cell phones work like normal if you are in a capsule elevator? If you think you know the answer guys, go ahead and drop a comment down below with your answer in it. I will reply to you saying whether it is right or wrong. Also guys, YouTube statistics show me and 85% of you guys are not subscribed. This is unacceptable guys. Go ahead and subscribe right now or a creepy spider will crawl up in your bed tonight. 
With that said guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Bye!